Papua New Guinea is a beautiful island nation situated in the southwest Pacific. Renowned for its magnificent tropical rainforests and unique flora and fauna, it is also one of the most culturally and linguistically diverse countries in the world and one of the most rural, with less than 20% of its population living in urban centres. PNG is home to some highly venomous snakes, including the Papuan Taipan and the Death Adder. Each year, around a thousand people are reported to have died from snake bite and venomation in PNG. Many more are disabled or disfigured, and the social and economic burden of snake bite in the PNG community can be devastating. We recognise that more needed to be done to reduce the burden of snake bite. In 2018, the Papua New Guinea PNG Snake Bite Partnership was developed. All over the developing world, snake bite poses a complex public health challenge with many factors contributing to the impact on the patients and communities. Addressing these challenges and mitigating the impact requires a holistic approach to education and treatment and requires commitment from multiple stakeholders. The PNG partnership is a collaborative project between government, industry and academia with the shared vision of reducing the burden of snake bite on the people of PNG. The partnership includes the Papua New Guinea Department of Health, the Australian government and anti-venom manufacturer Securus, the Charles Campbell Toxinology Laboratory, a University of Papua New Guinea collaboration with the University of Melbourne and based at the UPNG Medical School, is the chosen implementation partner operating in-country warehousing, distribution and monitoring. The partnership is intended to significantly improve the management of snakebite in PNG by combining an annual donation of Securus antivenom with health worker training and community education. A bespoke distribution and data collection model manages anti-venom use and supply in conjunction with the PNG Department of Health. Securus provides an annual donation of more than 600 vials of snake and marine creature anti-venom, plus supporting the cost of importing anti-venom. The Australian Government funds the Charles Campbell Toxinology Laboratory to manage the distribution of anti-venom, monitor usage and conduct regular training and education sessions. The in-centre training, led by a clinic nurse, focuses on important treatment needs such as patient management and airway maintenance. Snakebite continues to present many challenges, both in terms of providing appropriate and timely treatment to people living in rural and semi-rural communities, and in finding ways of reducing mortality rates. Education, both on the prevention of snakebite, first aid and patient management, and affordable, accessible antivenom are all crucial parts of the puzzle. It is hoped through the launch of the PNG Snakebite Partnership, positive steps forward can be made in reducing the burden of snakebite for the people and communities in Papua New Guinea.